Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. There are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. The stadium has that feel of a genuine coliseum. It could only be Rome. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack with many shaky defenses about getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply so playing two strikers can um, can be a real help to this team I mean 4-4-2 these days Peter gets a lot of criticism but it's it's unfair any system can work if you've got the right players and that gets things running Forward, what does he try from here? Plays it out to the wing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Golovin. been some goal oh, after so much hard work he, he bluffed he just shouldn't be missing from there it's a fabulous position he's had a good look and given a corner up for the header no he didn't quite meet it right Zhukov just had too many bodies around him. He would have done remarkably well to score from there. Nicely measured pass. He's got a work. Has a pop! Goal! Russia! And Russia score first! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Russia go ahead, one goal to the good. Chirkov. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Now it's Chirkov. It's a brilliant interception. Chirkov. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. very far from making something happen by himself lovely to see now the balls come loose and the chase is on nothing wrong with that tackle ball won cleanly he's through he's left his man going for goal in it goes and they're at it again in double quick time 
Russia are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Russia grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Gets wrestled off the ball. Over to the left, that's the through ball. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. And that has been clubbed away. Russia are in control here on the brink of half-time. Real chance! Just off target. <laughs> well, appearance is short. Shapes to shoot! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. Golovin. And now they can launch a counter. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And the first half is done. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Russia ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. So, off we go once more. Golovin. Golovin has a look up from the right-hand side, seeking out options. He's got options out wide. Up to meet it! Away from immediate danger. Zhirkov, he's had a shot! And oh! That's a half decent try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Kutryashov battles to win it back. Hoists it forward. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could... Hits one! He's gone for it! Knocks it away. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And he's there to hoof it away. 
Defending was strong and firm. Golovin. And helps available out wide. There will be a throw in. Is there any support? He might not need it. Just brushed off the ball there. Chance and the shot. They are rampant. And they are pulling clear here. And that really is so, so impressive. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Russia take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Ah, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Finds himself eased off the ball. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's played forward. And has put a stop to that. Coached through there. That intervention was very necessary. That's not going to make it. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but... They could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Goes for goal! Chirkov. Ball through needs to be good here. Gets away from... Shoots! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. He's through, now is he in? Goes for it! Oh, real danger here! Forward it goes. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.